two, three, four, one, two. The idea with these licks, uh, these little bite-sized licks, are you can in, you can add them in. I'm going to add it in on the third bar. Here we go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One. How are you doing? It's Chris Quinn, the guitar teacher at AcousticMasterclass.com. But right now, I'm making this video for you to view here online um, and take this cool lesson. Now, I was teaching. Um, uh, workshop that's now inside the site uh, all about playing solo blues guitar and how to add licks fills and uh, riffs to a standard shuffle to um, make your shuffle sound a bit cooler and a bit more kind of you know jammy and authentic and the way uh, the greats uh, play the blues the the heroes that we love um, and this is one of the licks i used in that workshop um, and i'm going to show you how to play it right now What's really cool about it is when you learn the lick, as I kind of demonstrated, that was the first eight bars of a 12 bar blues, you can um, throw the lick in at any point in the 12 bar shuffle. Um, and as long as you put it in in the right place, which I'm going to talk about, um, then it will work. Um, now, if you do want the tab for this, follow um, the link around this video um, and you'll be taken through to a page where you can get the link straight to your inbox um, with uh, a tab. Uh, sheet and also a really cool synced up video. Uh, it's kind of new software that we're using um, so you can slow down the video and see exactly what notes I'm playing. If that helps, I know it helps quite a few students. Um, so here we go. This is the lick. I got it obviously from John Lee Hooker. Uh, it's the John Lee Hooker lick uh, as part of this course. Now what you've got to do is get your second finger, second fret of the G, with your left hand or your, your fretting hand, you're gonna use your thumb on your picking hand and you're gonna pick the second fret of the G and immediately slide up to the fourth fret like this. You don't wanna go, you just wanna go, okay? Straight after that, if you can see my first finger is already sitting there on the B string to play open B, okay? Straight after that, we're gonna slide down the same move in reverse. So four to two, again, picking it with my thumb. So far we've got. Then we're gonna play open, uh, open G. Second fret of the D and then open G. Okay, feel free to pause the video there um, and get that under your fingers. Pretty straight ahead lick, pretty easy to get if you spend a bit of time on it. Now, what we've got to do is go into a shuffle. And again, if you want the tab for this, uh, click the link. And we've we've also tabbed out a full uh, 12 bar blues shuffle and um, added in the sync video to this page. So it's really cool. Um, for the first four bars, a really basic shuffle in the key of E goes. You know that sound, you probably already can play it. If you can't, I'll show you quickly now. Get your first finger, second fret of the A, and you're gonna pick twice, one and. Then you're gonna rock your third finger onto the A string, um, fourth fret. And by the way, I'm using my thumb and first finger on the two bass strings, that's all. We're picking two strings. So I'm gonna go one and two and three and four and two and two and three and four bar three and so on um, that's the first three bars of a 12 bar blues of course it goes to a and b7 i'm not going to cover this in this youtube video because I, I reckon a lot of people already know that um, but what i'm going to talk about is how i can add the lick into the shuffle and then go back to a shuffle so let's look at the first three bars of a 12 bar blues now normally a lot of people when they learn a 12 bar blues shuffle the first three bars sound like this <laughs> bar four, then we go up to the A, bar five. Yeah, so 
the idea with these licks, uh, these little bite-sized licks, are you can add them in. Here we go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, two. Okay. So where that came in, I'll, I'll play it slowly now, um, is bar two, it came in on bar two. The first beat of bar two was actually, I hit, I pinched that shuffle. Um, first, first pinch of the shuffle on beat one of bar two, like this. One and two and three and four and pinch, okay? After the pinch, we want to go up to go. So that lick, that first note that you learned, actually starts on beat two of the bar. Beat two of bar two. Um, again, the, the tab might help you if I'm speaking a bit quickly. Um, just click the link and you'll get it. Um, but let me play it slowly and I'll also count for you. Here we go. One, two, three, and four. And one, two, three, on any of the bars, any of the chords, it takes you to A, this is another A bar, okay, I'll play it on the B, or to take us to B, and you, of course you can mess with it. Actually, that lick I just played, or that that thing I just played there, the kind of that's I, I included that in the course. That was the Robert Johnson lick, um, and that's inside AcousticMasterclass.com. And of course, um, you you may already know you can get a fourteen day free trial. Um, but for now, just get the tab if you want, get that synced up video, and check it all out. Thanks for watching. Um, feel free to like the video and um, subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed the video and want more. I'm constantly adding videos like this to this channel. Um, leave us a comment if you have any questions and I'll get back to you ASAP. And better still, head across to AcousticMasterclass.com. Take your 14-day free trial. And I can actually meet you online. I'm in side the site every day, hooking up with students on Zoom all over the world and giving live lessons. Uh, we have six events every month for students that want to sign up on it and it's cheaper than the cost of a single guitar lesson per month it's it's an absolute bargain it's wonderful i love it but regardless see you in the next video here on youtube thanks for watching and i'll see you soon Bye.